so welcome back to our channel the teacher this is rajiv and today in this tutorial i will show you how to make this lighthouse animation in powerpoint 2016 so have a look so before we dig into the tutorial let me show you this animation step by step so if we look into the animation frame by frame then the first thing that you will notice in this animation is the raindrops which are continuously falling at a very high speed and then you can see a thin light coming from behind the tower and then start expanding like this and uh, getting up to 45 degree around then you see a white flash light becomes as two triangles are moving at 45 degree and then you see a white flash and then in the left side you see the opposite of those triangles at 45 degree and then they start collapsing first the light get expanded in the right side and you see a white background and when the light turns to left then you see that the white background is getting narrowed and then the entire light get converted to a thin line and that line goes back behind the tower so that is what we have to animate in powerpoint 2016 so this animation is inspired from one of the animation by stefan sirkovich at dribble.com this animation has been accomplished using only three slides and the second slide is empty none of the objects and no animations you can see on this second slide this slide has been used for the same flash effect that you see when the light turns to left this one this one so for that effect i use this blank slide with a transition timing of 0 0.01 second so let's take a look at the animation and here i open the animation pan from the animations tab so if we look into the first slide here then you will see a few raindrops here this one with a transparent background and let me open the selection pan as well and here you can see that objects here these picture files and if I turn them off then you will see no raindrops on the screen so for the raindrops you have two options the first option is to google for rain gif under images and then click on transparent you can either click transparent from right here or you can click on tools then bring the colors drop down menu and then click transparent and then you will start seeing rain gif files the animated one and most of them will be with their transparent background so i think i was using this one as you can see that these boxes in the background they indicate that this rainfall has a transparent background so you can right click on this image and can click copy image and then later you can paste that to powerpoint slide or you can save this image and later you can use the insert picture command insert picture command and then you can insert that gif file into powerpoint to create the rain effect so i did the same and then just duplicated the same picture several times on the screen which created this rainfall effect so creating raindrops effect in powerpoint is a little hard because when you apply animation on several objects at once then powerpoint gets slowed down and the another uh, option that you can use is to draw the raindrops in powerpoint and then cut them and paste them as a picture and place so many pictures of the raindrops at different position and then use flash once effect on them that could be another way around 
so let me show you the other animations that I have used on this presentation here so first of all you see this thin light here let me hide these raindrops first so this thin line has been drawn using the shape tool and let me select this one small light and you can see this so I use the shape tool freeform so first I click here then move a little bit up then click here a little down and then back from where I started and then when the notes get collapsed then you see the fill color and later you can zoom in by holding the control and middle mouse button and can hold down the alt key to resize the object and that is the smaller that you can do and later use shape fill and shape outline no outline and can also increase the length so which effect I use to create this effect here the small light coming behind from the tower I use the peak in effect and let me show you why as you can see here for small light I am using peak in entrance effect and with a very short duration of 0 0.50 second without any delay timing and this effect option is set to from left the small light is coming behind from the tower from the left side so that is why the effect option is set to from left and we are using peak in entrance effect and you can apply this effect by clicking on add animation more entrance effect and here you can find the peak in effect and later you can set it to from left now let me move it back to the, the center of this tower right here and then what you see in the animation is first you see the thin light coming from the left and then it start expanding so what I did here is I then move these two rectangles here these are two different large rectangles here larger than the slide size and then you see the third rectangle which is hidden behind these two larger rectangles on the front so I drew this rectangle here and you must also note down the size of this rectangle by clicking on the format tab and here you can note down the width and the height that I am using for this effect here and, and if I rotate this rectangle then you will start seeing the same effect here and the slide background is white so we did the same by using the spin animation let me undo this and here you can see that I had applied the spin animation two times on this single object one effect is right here and the another is after a little delay so why two spin animations not why one with a 45 degree rotation so if we look into the animation carefully then you can see that the light start expanding a bit slower then speed up and again on the left side let me show you that again then it starts shrinking fast then slow down so we try to create the same effect here using the spin animation on both of these rectangle so if I show you the animation here you can see that I had applied the spin animation and if I open the effect option property so here you can see the amount of degree on which I am rotating the top rectangle and that is 20 degree counterclockwise without any smoothness no auto reverse we don't want to move that rectangle back to its original position so no auto reverse here and in the timing tab we are using a delay timing of 0.50 second and a duration of 0.75 seconds and again on the same rectangle I am using the spin effect with a delay timing of 1.25 seconds and with a very short duration of 0.25 seconds that is because after moving to 20 degree it will spin faster at 25 degree counterclockwise so that is why I use two effects on a single rectangle and the same has been done on the bottom rectangle if I show you the properties of these effect here then 20 degree clockwise in the opposite direction and then again 25 degree with different duration and delay timings 
so then this transition timing of this slide the transition timing of this slide has been set to 1.50 seconds that is the to total duration of all the animations and then after that immediately you will see a white slide for just a 0 0.01 seconds tenth of a second and then we have the third slide on the third slide you see the same both rectangles in opposite direction which are already rotated to 45 degree so if I show you the format shape properties and then here you can see that these both rectangles are rotated to 45 degree the top one is at 45 degree and the bottom one is at minus 45 degree so the same effect has been used on both of these rectangles the spin effect 20 degree counterclockwise and then again 25 degree counterclockwise with the different duration and delay timings and did the same on the bottom rectangle so this time I use the peek out command from the exit effects if you click on more exit effects then you can find it right here peek out with the effect option to write and that tower is in front of the rectangles and let me show you by opening the selection pan and you must take care of the position of the objects on the slide as you can see here on the first slide you see lighthouse small light top rectangle bottom rectangle and the and that rectangle behind these both of these rectangle because you see different background or slight background is white but when the animation begin then you see a complete red background then the light start expanding and you see a white background and when the large light flashes once then you see again the red background on the right side that is why we used a third rectangle here to hide the white slide background and you see the position of the subject here lighthouse small light top rectangle bottom and left red background and on third side if you look then you see lighthouse left red background rectangle small light so the position is very important here and I have drew this lighthouse using the shape tool as you can see all the objects here or you can also google for that and can place that picture on the slide lighthouse clip art or anything you like to search for and you can place these images and if you look for transparent that will be much better like this one so you can also use picture if you want to or you can draw it for yourself that is totally up to you so i hope you will like this animation let me know by liking sharing and commenting so i hope you will like this animation let me know by liking sharing and commenting and do subscribe to our channel for more upcoming tutorial videos thanks for watching and have a good day